type issue here. Hey everybody, good evening. Hello, hello guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? <laughs> I'm looking for the um, mute button. Eh, good, I guess everything is good. So ya llegamos al, al corazoncito de la semana, right? And that's like, oh, that's super nice. So what about you guys? ¿Cómo les fue en su día? Everything nice? Very nice. good. Very good, teacher. Nice. Danny, I'm super happy to hear you. So, ahora sí ya lo podemos escuchar. That's cool. Very nice. Uh, so, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining today's class. Gracias por estar super pendientes here. And uh, let me just go ahead. Let me check. Let me check. Yes, there we go. So let me go ahead and take attendance to get started. Se me ayudan solamente con las camaritas, please, for some seconds. Eh, mientras we check attendance. So my first person is Jocelyn Ramirez. I am here, teacher. Eh, thank you, Jocelyn. Norberto. Present, teacher. Thank you, Sandra Roda. Marvin Bonilla, Brian, Rene, Daisy, Preston. Thank you, Miss, and Danny. Preston, teacher. Thank you. Giovanni. Giovanni estará por acá. No yet. Okay, uh, Danny. Not yet. Uh, Tocayo. ¿Cómo? Tocayo. Oh, yeah, but todavía no, no ha venido. I believe he's not here yet. Uh, Jesus, creo que vi a Jesus hace unos segunditos. Present. Oh, Jesus, you're writing. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Wow. Uh, Jerixa. Hi, Hi, good evening. Hello, Miss. Good evening. Uh, Moses. Si va en la clase, mira. A veces hasta las nueve llega así y ahí llega a la casa. A veces a las ocho. Thank you so much, eh, Moses. And uh, Ingrid. Okay. Uh, Claribel, por ahí vi a Claribel some seconds ago. Uh, Jackie. Present teacher. Thank you, Jackie. Ana Delmi. Ana. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Present. Brenda. Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda. And Idalia. Aquí. And Sandra Flores. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Sandra. Let me just go ahead. Creo que por ahí vi a Giovanni. So, Giovanni, solo me da confirmación, please. Present teacher. Thank you so very much. And uh, Sandra Roda. Thank you, Sandra. And uh, let me see, let me see. Danny, ¿ya está por acá también? Hi, good evening. Hey, good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Okay, cool. And Marvin. No yet. René, no yet. Ah, uh, oh, René, hello. 
Hi. Hello, hello. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And Claribel, creo que también ya está por acá, right? Claribel. I am here, Miss. Hello. Okay, very nice. Hello. Let me see. Brian, no yet. And Marvin, no yet. Okay. Okay, okay. So, guys, uh, thank you so much for your attendance. Gracias por estar con nosotros un día más, you know. On this Wednesday, vamos a dar inicio a nuestra sesión número 8. All right. So, ya casi terminamos eh, like, las primeras dos semanas as well. Y pues solo ya nos queda como de bajadita, right? Eh, let me just go ahead and present my agenda for today. Vamos a revisar un poquito de obligaciones. How to talk about obligations. And then we are going to practice some conversations. Uh, to get started, siempre tenemos algo como warm up and introduction. So, eh, les quiero mostrar the following. I want to show you this. So, hay una pequeña actividad que se llama How many words can you make? Okay. So, les voy a mostrar un par de palabras. And van a tener como like, what? Let's call it un minuto. 30 segundos, un minuto. No, yeah, let's make it one minute. Para que tenga tiempo suficiente de pensar. And uh, vamos a intentar armar todas las palabras que podamos que comiencen con esas letras, ¿ok? So, for example, the first word is English. So, vamos a armar todas las palabras que se puedan con English, ¿ok? What does it mean? Pueden comenzar con E, con N, con G, L, I, S, H. Ya, yeah? so tienen que hacer like as many words as you can que comiencen con las letras que están acá, ¿all right? So, um, I think that one minute, para que comenzamos one minute y luego le podemos ir disminuyendo hasta que tengamos como like 30 seconds. That would be super nice. So, solo le voy a pedir, no dictionary, ok, intentemos hacerlo, um, intentemos pedirle a nuestro cerebro que piense un poquito, que recuerde todo el vocabulario que he visto, eh, todas las películas, todos los videos, etc., ok. So, try not to use dictionary. Intentamos no usar diccionarios or anything that you can have, okay? So, guys, ¿están listos? Are you ready? Son todas las palabras. As many words as you can. Tantas palabras como pueden con cada una de las letras que están acá. All right? So, okay. tienen un minutito. Okay, uh, les voy a compartir mi pantalla. Let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. So, for example, digamos que tengo la palabra sand, ok, la palabra arena. So, voy a hacer tantas palabras como yo pueda que comiencen con letter S, letter A, letter N, ok, and letter D. Pueden comenzar con cualquiera de esas letras que componen la palabra sand. Yes. Okay, y okay. puedo comenzar por, por ejemplo, sun, sun, miss una de cada una. No necesariamente, oh, es como todas las que puedan, as many as you oh, okay, okay. Puedo, por ejemplo, solo utilizar con S, right? Like sun. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué se les ocurre con S? Sister. Sister. Sister, ajá, uh -huh, ok. And then, por ejemplo, with A, apple. ¿Qué más? Actor. What else? Architect. Architect. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh, exactly. So, architect, etc., etc. So, no es solo como una, um, sino son todas las que puedan. Accountant. Yes, you can. Accountant, yes. exactly. So, no hay como una regla de solo puede ser de este tipo right now. So, es como todo lo que se pueda con estas letras. Ok, with these letters. Pero yo creo que ya comenzaron, así que ya no hicieron trampa algunos. Así que hold on a second. So, digamos que este es nuestro primer intento, ¿ok? This is our first attempt. ¿Qué, pola qué palabras, what words podemos hacer con English? Example. 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 Engineer. Engineer, ok. Easy. 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 Exercise. Exercise. Yeah. Eagle. Eagle. Okay. Eagle. Every. 
every hair. No sé si se pronuncia así, Mister. Mister. Oh, Earth. 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 Uh, uh -huh, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Exactly, exactly. So, de eso se trata. That's exactly the activity, right? So, vamos a, um, vamos a omitir esta. We are going to omit this one because era ya como el primer intento, right? This is the first attempt. Now, let's go with the real one, okay? So, tiene un minuto para la siguiente palabra. If this is so. So remember, no importa lo que significa, solamente con estas letras, you can make so, as many words as you can. Todas las palabras que puedan con estas cuatro letras. So one, two, three, and go. Tienen un minuto. You have a minute. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's over. Okay, guys, the time is over. Okay, yeah. Sandra says, yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Guys, how many? ¿Cuántos tienen? How many do you have? ¿Cuántos pudieron hacer? How many could you make? Just. Seven. Seven. Sixteen. Sixteen. Wow. Seven. Sixteen. ¿Cuántos tienen? How many could you make? Eight. Eight. Okay. So even with two, that's okay. That's okay. So help me please with soap. ¿Qué palabras tienen? Sister. Sample. Mm -hmm. Sunday. Stadium, step, sofa, swimming, swimming, okay, cell, 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 like cell phone, cell, 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 okay, sauce, soy, salad, okay, salad, okay. With O, tienen algo con O? Do you have anything with O? Orange. Objective. Yeah. Orange, objective. One. 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 Uncle. 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 Orange. Like. Uh, abuse. No. Okay. Anulada. Yeah, it's orange. No. But, but, okay, okay. Yes, what about... Oh. A or P? Do you have anything with A or P? A. Huh? Play potato. Potato, play. Pancake. Pancake. Orange. Uh -huh. Orange. Tear. Miss Tear. Yes. Pain. Very good. I like it. That's very nice. Cool, cool. Okay, okay. So good. Let's go with the next letter. So, está bien cosita. It's super, super short. Pero, of course, intentemos no repetir, right? Try not to repeat. Next one is nuts. So, four letters. Tienen un minuto. One, two, three, go. One minute. Nuts. Todas las que pueden con nuts.
time is over. Okay, guys, the time is over. How many do you have? Quantas tienen? How many do you have? No. No. Ten. No. Eleven. Ten. Okay. Nine. Five, miss. <laughs> Only five. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Seven, Jerixa says. Okay. So, ¿cuáles tienen? What words do you have with nuts? Nurse. Nurse. Name. Nurse. Name. 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 November. November. Near. No. Near. Never. Good. Nice. 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 What about you? With you, do you have anything with you? University. Unit. Understand. <laughs> Understand. Umbrella. Umbrella. Under. Yes. Under. 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 Okay. Uncle. Under. Under. Nice. Understand. Very good. What about T? Teacher. Time. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Toys. Table. Table. Okay. Table. Take. Okay. Okay. Tomato. And the last one is letter S. Could you make anything with S? Stop. Single. Single. Sun. Okay. Saturday. Summer. Saturday. Summer. Yeah. Secretary. Secretary. Sunday. Good. Summer. Sunday, summer. Okay. So I like it a lot. I like it a lot. We have like a lot of words flowing and a lot of words coming. Nice. Okay, guys. La última. We got just one more word. But now, intente no repetir las letras, las palabras anteriores. Try not to repeat. So this is the last. Need. You have one minute. One, two, three. Go, one minute. Need is the word. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Thanks over. Hello, everybody. Time is over. Time is over. So, uh, need that is the last word. So the idea is also not to repeat. No, vamos a repetir palabras. So, ¿cuáles tienen? What do you have for need? What do you have? Number. Number? Nothing. Next. Nothing. Okay. Nice. Next to. Next to. Nice. Uh huh. Name? Never. Never. Uh huh. Nephew. Nephew. Narrow. Narrow. I like it. Okay. okay. Neighbor. Neighbor. Uh huh. Very good. Neighbor. What else? What else? E, E, or D? What do you have with E or D? Engineer. Elephant. Okay. Elephant. Elephant. Early. 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 Okay. I see. Is it easy? Easy. Easy. The facile, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Earring. Earring. Okay. And D. What about letter D? Day. Eat, 
Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Okay. Dinosaur. Nice. Uh -huh. Wow, we have like a lot of words. Good guys, good for you. So I'm really happy to hear like a lot of words coming, flowing. Excellent. And, and they were like pretty good. So nice, nice. Congrats for you. Today, actually, vamos a hablar de esa palabra que está de último que es need. Okay. So we are going to be talking a little bit about need, como expresar need, and how to express obligation as well. So let me present over to you the following part. Okay. So this is kind of um, urgency, okay, or like necessity. So there is a little conversation between Mark and Bri. And Mark says, hey, I really need that meme, uh, that memory. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. And Bri says right away. So we have this word that is need. I really need. It's very important. I, I just need. Okay. So expresamos necesidad this way. So this is a, like a very nice topic because we can express lo que necesitamos en esos momentos, yeah? So what we really need in this moment. So there are some words like I really need, I need to speak. It's very important, okay? So para expresar un poco de urgency, de emergencia, right? So okay. guys, what do you need? What is something that you really need? What do you really need right now? So, ¿qué necesitan? What do you need? You can use your uh, the chat room, okay? Pueden utilizar el chat para expresar qué es lo que necesitan. So, what do you guys, what do you guys need, okay? Or what do you really need? Do you really need a vacation? It's very important to get a vacation. So what do you guys really need? In the meantime, pueden usar el chat to express your necessity. I, I really need vac vacation. So you really need a vacation, okay? Like a short one or, or a long vacation? A long vacation. Okay, vacation. I, I need to, okay, I need vacation. Oh, something important here is, si son dos verbos, entonces vamos a expresarlo como acá. I need to speak, okay? Si van dos verbos juntos, ponemos el to en medio. I need to sleep. I need to get, yeah. I need to earn. So vamos a ponerle to si van dos verbos. So let me see your examples. Um, I see that, okay, I need vacation. Okay, I need to relax. Ya vi la corrección por ahí. I really need more money, okay. <laughs> okay, I really need more money. Oh my God, so to need money. I really need sleep. Okay, so you need to get some sleep, okay. So, only vacation and money, guys, and relaxing. No necesitan nada más. You don't need, like, anything else. I really need a girlfriend. And he says, <laughs> like, really? Remember that really expresa el sentido de urgencia, emergencia, okay? So, um, I mean, it's okay, but really, it's like, realmente me urge, you know? Um, I really need a trip to Mexico, but I don't have money. So you need money as oh, well. Okay, so that sounds good. I need to go to the beach. Okay, I need a car. Okay, okay. So guys, what about the rest? What do you need? I need to go to a night party. Okay, so 
So, Sandra, you so need Puerto. some shoes. <laughs> you need to travel. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, but, but what is like the emergency? Guys, come on. If we think about this month or this very moment, si fuera como en este momento de realmente necesito algo, so, ¿qué necesitarían? What is something that... Okay, so Norberto, you know, you know, take a look at Norberto's sentence. Time to be with my family. Wow, okay. Mucho más profundo, right? So deeper. Um, okay, guys, si hablamos de cosas que necesitan. El dinero es, es profundo, teaching. <laughs> <laughs> La necesidad de dinero también es profunda. Okay. Permanent. Yeah, yeah, that, that's my point. So, si hablamos como de ahorita, realmente, ¿qué es lo que necesitan, guys? What do you really, really, really need uh, up to this moment? Sleep. Okay. <laughs> so, you need to sleep. Okay. I you need, need to sleep. sleep. Okay. Maybe, yeah, you need to relax. You need to sleep yes. a little. Okay. Jocelyn no, says, I need to speak English. Okay. Jocelyn, como una necesidad de ahorita, de, en este momento. Es como, hay, hay mucha urgencia. To drink coffee. Oh, it was only coffee, so it was not to speak English. Okay. I really need to take a shower. Okay. Yeah, Danny, go and get it, please. <laughs> okay, guys, I got a question for you. ¿Alguien tiene la necesidad urgente de aprender inglés como en un periodo bien corto? Pero, porque yes. sea, pero, pero no es como porque hay, porque quiero, ¿verdad? Sino porque realmente hay una urgencia detrás de esto. Is there like a yes, miss. Uh, so, Claribel, in your case, yes. Why? Because I need, um, uh, y se me olvidó, ¿cómo se dice? Ganarme una beca. I need to Yo get, principio. I need yes. to get a scholarship. Yes. Bárbara. Okay. Um, so, ¿hasta qué fecha tiene? No, o sea, yo me he puesto ese límite de poder hacerlo lo más pronto posible. Ah, ok. So, you really Todo need depende to speak de English. Ok. To get the scholarship. Yes. Ok, ok. Is But there... that's emergency. Ah. Yes. I, I I really need to learn English too because I need applicate uh, to maestría, master. Master, okay. No pude entrar este año porque no me dijeron que iba tenía que pasar un examen en inglés. No yeah, pasar. it was a requirement. What did you say, TOEFL or TOEIC? No, no lo sé. No, no apliqué. Oh, you didn't apply. Sí, no apliqué porque era uno de los requisitos. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, because normally it's TOEFL or, or toy. Okay. Okay, so I see the, the, the necessity, you know, to learn. Yes. English. Okay. I need another cello for English classes. Oh, like a cell phone. I believe you mean <laughs> that you need another cell phone for your English classes. Oh, I really need a computer. Ahora que hablan de cell phone, I really need another computer, something faster, you know. So, exactly. So we are talking here about necessities, right? What you need. And I like the way the person answers. Because le dice como, okay, just a moment, please. Como, permítame un momento. So, just a moment, please. Okay? And then it's like, okay, right away. So, ahorita mismo lo que usted quiera. All right? So, we are going to practice, okay, a little bit about this. A little bit about necessity. <laughs> And Giovanni copia el ejemplo de Dani that is like, I need a girlfriend. Okay, boys, get real, you know. <laughs> so talk about emergencies that you may have. <laughs> okay, that's fun. So I'll give you like a couple of minutes, okay. And I want you to prepare. I want you to prepare something super short, okay. Sobre cuáles son sus necesidades. So what are your necessities at the moment? So, um, 
Pueden utilizar la pregunta. <laughs> so you can use the question that I included at the beginning. Okay, like, um, hey, Danny, hey, Brenda. So what do you need right now? Okay, what do you need? What do you need right now? So, ¿qué necesitas, right? So, how do you feel? How do you feel? What do you need? What makes you feel better? I need to take a pill. Oh, no, a little nap. Oh, my goodness. Ya no veo a pill because yeah. So, what do you need right now? ¿Qué necesitas, right? So, and then we can start talking about this. Oh, I need a vacation. But also, I need money. And I need to work. <laughs> so, if I don't work, uh, you know, I, I need, yeah, something to survive, etc. Or a sugar daddy or whatever. So, guys, I'll give you a couple of minutes. <laughs> Don't get excited, please. So, you can go there, practice with your classmates, and then come and present your conversation. So, uh, yes, everybody, let's get going. You got five minutes to work on it and then come back. Teacher. Hello. Solo era de practicar lo que, lo que nosotros necesitábamos, ¿verdad? Yes. Decir ahí sí. Lilinida. Similar a la conversación que tienen. Very similar to this. No necesariamente esto, ¿verdad? Ah. Mm -hmm. No es como que esto, pero sí es como la idea. So, for example. Ah, hacer una conversación. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, you can go and ask everybody. Hey guys, hey Martin, Sandra, good to see you. Hey, I need money. What about you? What do you need? Okay. <laughs> so puede ser algo bien casual. La idea es que utilizamos todo esto. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Bye, <clears throat> hijo. La damos primero. Qué caballeroso. A Sandra, a Sandra casi nunca la hemos escuchado. Ya me afligieron. Porque a mí me cuesta. No, guys, eh, no, no se preocupen, no se aflija, mis. <ríe> so, ayúdense, guys, help each other. Sí. No sé si puedo utilizar el mismo ejemplo que le puse de hoy hace ratito. Sure, pueden utilizar yes. los mismos. Vaya, yo le había puesto en el chat. I need another cell for English class. En español necesito otro ser para clases de inglés. So, alguien puede tomar el lead y alguien puede preguntar, you know. Hey, guys. Es como una conversación bien, bien casual. So, like, hey, how are you? How are you doing today? Uh, look, what do you need for the class? What do you need to work today? Or what do you need to, to relax? No sé, like, algo así puede ser. And then you start talking about it. 
estamos preparando. La otra, what do you, what do you need right now? Era que necesitas ahora en este momento. Estaba también la otra. What do you need? Um, yo no escuché esa right now. No hay un ejemplo, ahí está en el chat. Pero, what do you need right now? Esa era la que teníamos que preguntar. Ok. ¿Verdad, ¿verdad que sí, teacher? Solo esa. No va que hay otra. Había uh, otra. ¿no? Podemos utilizar ahorita solo esa, la like, what do you need right now? Uh -huh. That's what okay. No. Bueno, entonces, what do you need right now, Brian? Uh, I don't know, because I think right now, I need right now is travel another country. Uh, buy a new car, uh, learning English. Because I need to work. And you? Uh, I need a new car for. Uh, I need. Uh, no, para, para travel. Para no, to travel, no sé cómo sería allí. Pero para viajar, va. <laughs> no sé. Uh -huh. um, I need. I need to speak English uh, for a uh, best job. Oh, okay. very good, Danny. Very good. Very good. And you, and, and you, Danny, Danny, Tocayo. Um, oh, uh, it's in the moment. I relax. The coffee. Um. Yeah. Watch TV. Um, action. No sé, ya me, una, me, una me, coca ahí bien helada, no querés. No, 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 no. Oh, Whisky. <laughs> Go to go to study with my family um, only. And you, Sandra, uh, what do you need right now? I need um, to sleep. I need another job. I need um, coffee. I need a money. I need to the lottery. <laughs> I need my sleep. That is really nice. So we need to win the lottery. Yeah, that would be nice. But do you play? Juega la lotería? <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, cool. ¿Cuánto ha ganado? How much have you uh, gotten? How much have you won? <laughs> Quisiera ganarme algo. <laughs> Pero ¿cuánto ha ganado? How much? No. Hasta ahorita. One dollar, five dollars. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, yo no. <laughs> no, nunca he jugado. Yo solo quisiera oh, ganar. Oh, you have never played. No, a mí porque hey, yo sí he comprado, pero gano lo mucho un dólar. But... <laughs> o lo pierdo, Sandra, as you van y said. <laughs> Sandra quiere ganar, pero no sí. compra la <laughs> Yeah, I have never bought the pues, thing, sí. though. But I think it's a, it's a good idea. So you can buy the thing or la lotería, right? <laughs> But that sounds good. Guys, do you need to win the lottery as well? Not really. I would like to get the lottery. So, uh, Idalia and Giovanni, what do you need? I prefer Natalie rather than Idalia. I don't know why. 
Really, yes. it's not that. Uh huh. It's a little hard. Yes, <laughs> yeah, Natalie sounds better. So, what, what do you what do you want? What do you need? Uh, right now I need to sleep, uh, but uh, a long time I will sleep at ten, uh, ten, in the ten hours. But it is. Uh, very yes. yes i need to sleep i need uh i really need vacation and right now ah i need uh, travel you need yes. to travel I, uh, eso creo que se llama relax i need a travel or okay. travel no no guatemala you know Mm, más lejos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just need so, like to chill out. You need to have like a, like, um, yeah, so un viaje no de trabajo, right? Not, not like a business uh, trip, but like yes. a, just a tour. That would be nice. Yes. But yes, I really need. No sé si se puede. Can you? ¿Cómo? With the quarantine. Uh, with the quarantine. Ya se puede con las restricciones de coronavirus. Yes, yes, we can travel. Uh, we only do the test, uh, COVID. Mm -hmm. And okay. oh, I, I give the, the uh, information in advance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I go out. Ah, month. okay, cool. I didn't know that you could travel to like countries far away but that sounds very nice and also because this month eh, ya casi semana santa also so everybody wants to travel a lot so that would be nice so Giovanni what about you would you like to travel as well or not really or do you prefer to stay at home <laughs> what do you need Giovanni well sorry sorry uh, right <laughs> no now, uh, uh, I need to sleep. Why? I really, I really need to drink beer. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I really need to study right. uh, to do exercise. Excel. Ah, to learn Excel. Okay. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. Eso sí lo necesito. That's something that I need. Ahora que lo pienso. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I really need to meet CR7. Okay. Uh, oh, Cristiano. <laughs> CR7, I thought you were talking yeah. about a program, like a computer <laughs> program, I said. Cristiano Ronaldo, you no. mean, right? Yes. Cristiano okay. Ronaldo. Okay. Uh, I really need to travel uh, to my country. To your country? Yeah. Where, where are I you from? from? I am from Guatemala, but oh. I live in El Salvador. Oh, so are you Guatemalan? Yes, teacher. Hey, I didn't know. Okay, where? Where in Guatemala are you from? Yes, I... Petén. Petén. Okay. Yeah. I have never been there. So nice. I didn't know. ¿Cuánto tiene estar aquí en el país? How long have you been here? Uh, aproximadamente... Uh, yeah, 50 years. 15 years. Pero es toda una vida, you know. Okay, so, uh, okay. So, you're no joven, me imagino. So, you came to El Salvador very young. Okay, but, ¿le gustaría regresarse? Would you like to go back to Guatemala? No, no, teacher. I like El Salvador. You like El Salvador? Yeah. Okay, but uh, tiene la citizenship. Yes, teacher. 
So, tiene Dui and everything from El Salvador. Ya es nacionalidad salvadoreña. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Nice. So, welcome. <laughs> welcome to our country. I didn't know. To be honest, no, no recuerdo que, que hubiese mencionado que era de Guatemala. So, ok. I'm glad you mentioned that. Que nice. se iban a emocionar las chicas y no. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I mean that, that's a very interesting fact. Because, uh, I didn't know. So, yeah, no tipo de detalles, he said. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you in a minute in the other meeting. Hi, Brian. Estaba al lado de la vida esperando. Hey, guys. Thank you for coming. So, who was singing? Creo que escuché a alguien, you know, deleitándonos con su voz, but I couldn't identify who that person was. So, ¿quién estaba cantando? Who was singing? That was very nice. René estaba cantando. René estaba cantando, so René was singing. Uh, I just yes. heard the voice, but I couldn't, I was like, what? <laughs> okay. So, uh, Yo les estaba cantando una bonita canción a mis compañeros. What song? What <laughs> song? Y si el mar se convirtiera en aguardiente. <laughs> Let's go. ¿Cuál es esa? What song is that? Es un cumbión, teacher. Bárbara. Una canción que no puede faltar los 24. Never, never. And then what goes on? O, o despecho. My sister is like saying, yeah. But I don't, I cannot remember that song. En ese momento. Okay, okay. Well, the good thing is that you were having fun. So, si se divirtieron talking about it, I mean, I'm glad, guys. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, we were talking about the things that you need. So, people, que necesitan? What do you need? Any any volunteer? Any group volunteering who would like to I need my massage it? teacher. Oh, you need a massage? Okay. Oh. Yes. Nice. My... Uh -huh. yes, Como Brenda? digo, también mis teacher, what do you say, también mis compañeros. Also. 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 Mm -hmm. also. Also. Yes. So you need a mustache and also yes. your co-workers or, or your classmates here or sus compañeros de trabajo. Yes. Okay, my classmates. Also. Oh, your classmates. Oh. Okay. Yes. So, guys, do you need a massage? Who needs yes. a massage? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Pero, <laughs> pero pregúntale. <laughs> yes. Pregúntale a Moisés qué tipo de masaje quiere. <laughs> Moses, I don't know. Tell us, please. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, yeah, laughs> no, nothing. No, no he, he, doesn't, he doesn't need a massage. I don't know. I don't know. So he's okay by now. Okay. No, I mean, because there are messages with, uh, con estas piedras calientes, you know, and things like those. There are different yes. types of messages, right? Massage hot. I need, I need. Like with hot stones. Yes. Guys, what else do you need? So what do you need, people? Working the dog. Walk the dog. Walking, yeah. 
Okay, okay, to walk yes. your dog. Hey, I Marvin, I'm glad car. to see you there. Yes, Moises? I need a new car. Oh, you need a new car. Okay, so you need to change oh. car. Okay, I need, I need the gasoline to lower the price. So I would really oh, need that, so you know. I think that's very important. Oh. Yeah, so Marvin, what do you need? I need a, a trip, a vacation. You need a vacation? Vacation. Okay, so you need vacation. Que mas? Yes. What else? Teacher, I need to play a video game. You need to play. <laughs> okay, yes. okay. Well, yes. Danny, you need to rest, actually. So, no sé si ya, ya pasó su, su periodo de descanso. I think you need to rest, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Do you need to take pills? ¿Cómo? Do you need to take, se lo escribo, do you need to take pills? Take pills. Do you need to take pills? Como tomar medicina, uh, tomar pastillas? Yes, 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 teacher. Ah, oh, okay. So, eso realmente lo necesita, you know? <laughs> So you need to take pills. So when we are sick, so when we are sick, when we have a headache, a stomachache, you know, o estamos enfermos, so we need to take pills, right? Tomamos take, pastillas, tomamos medicine. So we okay. take medicine or we take pills. Guys, do you need to take pills every day? Alguien es el tratamiento and you need to take pills? Yes, no. teacher, me. Okay. Jocelyn does. All right. So that is a necessity. That is like an urgency. Anybody else? No, really. I yeah, need a really. message. I need so defense. You are healthy. Vitamin C, vitamin C. Yeah, we need to, especially with coronavirus, we need to be really careful, right? So we need to take vitamin C. ¿Qué más tenemos que hacer? ¿Qué necesitamos hacer? Detoxify. Okay. Let's I need to take a shower. I mean, yes. yes. <laughs> you need to take a shower. Yeah, that, that's yes. that is a thing. Oh. I need to wash the dishes. Oh, you need to wear a face mask. Exactly. You need to wear a mask. What else? You need to put hand sanitizer. Yeah, so you need to put hand sanitizer. Hand alcohol sanitizer. Gel. Yes, el alcohol gel le podemos llamar hand sanitizer. So yeah, you need yes. to put hand sanitizer every like very often, right? So on, on drink. And drink. And drink what? Water. No. No, you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you don't need, need to drink beer. No, yes. you don't need to. No for coronavirus. Brenda. Ah. <laughs> Not like an obligation or anything. <laughs> okay. So when we are talking about this necessity, this, this is the forma como lo expresamos, right? And uh, so we come to the next part. And uh, there is something important here. Oh, safety glasses, like the goggles. Yes. So, tenemos una pequeña lectura here, and it says, read the email and organize the activities. Guadalupe needs to do by importance, okay? So, vamos a seleccionar del 1 al 4, cuál es como la más importante, la super top priority, luego la que puede esperar un poquito más, luego la que espera más, y la última que puede esperar como más tiempo. Vamos a organizar las actividades de acuerdo al orden de prioridad. So read the email and organize the activity Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Lo que vamos a hacer es solamente organizarlas en first. Yeah, que es como lo primero que tiene que ser. Second, yeah, third, and fourth. Son solo cuatro actividades. It's only four activities. So tenemos like three minutes to do that. So leamos rapidito, read it. Y veamos cuál es la importancia de estas actividades. Ok, four minutes, guys. Cuando tengan la primera, let me know.
Brenda ya averigüe cuál es la del mar se convirtiera en aguardiente. ¿Verdad que es buena? I didn't remember. Ya that's ve a, cómo les canto a, mi, a mis compañeros. Yeah, that's a classic, I think. Yes, teacher. So guys, let me know, me avisan cuando están listos, let me know when you are ready, please. Okie dokie, guys. So, ¿cómo van por ahí? Are you ready? Ya terminaron. Um, probably, eh, creo que incluí un cuatro, un cuarto elemento, right? But if I'm not mistaken, solo van a encontrar tres. So, I think it would be only three of them. So, do you need more time? Ya los terminaron. Tell me, ¿cómo les está yendo? ¿Alguien ya los tiene? Do you have number one? Eh, tienen el que sería el que tiene más urgencia, like the one that you need right now. Eh, to send it to less, less sale report on 26 May. No sé si ese sería. Mm -hmm. It's very yes. important, yes, yes to send yes. it. Mm -hmm. It's very important to send the two latest reports on May the 26th, exactly. Yes. And write a new welcome letter for the new customer. Yeah, because here, incluso le dice que solo es un día lo que le dan, right? So you have one day. Yeah, that is activity number one. Uh, so, ¿cuál sería the second? What is the second activity? Uh, really? Call the new clients. Okay. Yeah, so call the new clients from and the last clients. three weeks. Okay, you have two days. ¿Y cuál sería la última? Which is the last? Uh, need you contact. Contact? Call the new clients. Actually, here it says, Finally visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it. Two hours, one day. Two hours each day. So, yes. pero tiene dos días para esto, right? So the person has two days. Y tiene dos horas todos los yes. días. And here, you have two days to do it. One hour each day. So, 
Dijimos que esa es la primera. This is the most urgent, okay? Uh, it's very important to send it to latest report. Esa sería la primera. Which is number two? The second? Call the new clients or visit the two stores. ¿Con cuál tiene menos tiempo? Uh, ¿Cuál tiene como número dos? What do you have as number two? Call the new clients. Call the new, call the new, exactly. call the new clients. Porque el tiempo es más corto, right? So it's less yes. time. And the last one is visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. So you have two days and two hours each day. Y acá solo le dio una hora, right? One. So yes, exactly. So that is the level of urgency that we have for that exercise. Vamos a dejar este para el final. Now let's go into the next activity. It says, express obligations or needs at the workplace. So vamos a hablar ahora ya un poco más enfocado en nuestro empleo. So, ¿cuáles son las emergencias and obligations? ¿Qué es lo que ustedes tienen que hacer en el trabajo? So, I would like to, uh, first, hay un par de palabras que pueden ser un poco difíciles, right? The first one is actually, the other is clients, y luego tenemos reschedule, ya, yeah? reagendar, reprogramar. So, we have the word reschedule. Then we have provide, and we have that sounds, Sounds interesting. So, guys, uh, I need some volunteers. Uh, Danny, please. Danny, ayúdenme a leer okay. parte de John. And Danny. Perfect. Danny, puede hablar. Can you speak? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Me, puede, me puede ayudar con la parte yes. de Danny. No, a mí, le, le consulto porque sí, sí. no sé cómo, cómo está, ¿verdad? Pero, pero si es así, nice. Yes, bien. So, ayúdeme. Very good, teacher. Nice, nice. Glad to hear that. Ayúdeme con la parte de Anne, please. Ok. Ready? Ready. Tocayo. Yes. Anne, is there some marine? Do you need to... To do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I had to rescue you to, to meet in tomorrow. They were concerned today. Oh, they're too bad? Yes, I had to provide import information to some customer. That song, interesting. Thank you. Very nice, Welcome. guys. That was really cool. Okay, okay. So, um, very good, actually. So, very nice reading. Eh, la intonación super bien. Yes, this word, la podemos mejorar un poquito. This is clients. Clients. Right? So, to call some clients, exactly. Uh, let me see. Let Teacher, me just one uh, more pair. Yes? Uh, uh, actually, como es? Actual. Actually. Actually. Uh, actually. Mm -hmm. actually. Yes, that is actually. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Daisy, please, me puede ayudar a leer la parte de John? Can you help me with John? And Jarixa. Jarixa, can you help me read the part of Anne, please? Anne. Um, Mm -hmm. Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to rest. I don't know pronunciation this word. Um, reschedule. Re I have to reschedule. Thank you. Well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. Their work canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to pray important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Very nice. That was cool. So 
yes, I have to reschedule to meet it for tomorrow. So, tenemos acá dos palabras bien importantes. La primera es I need to y la segunda es I have to. Ok, entonces veamos un poquito la diferencia entre estas dos. Ambas son para explicar obligation, ok, pero puede que haya una diferencia bien pequeñita entre las dos. So, I need to and I have to. Um, so, I can express it like I need to, y luego un verbo, ok, para hablar de cosas que necesitamos, ok. So, and then puedo utilizar I have to para hablar de mis obligaciones. Algo que por ley yo debo de hacer, yo debo de completar, ¿ok? For example, con need to yo puedo decir, I need to arrive early. No porque mi jefe me diga que todos los días debo de estar súper temprano, pero yo sé que si no llego temprano, después el tráfico me agarra y voy a llegar bien tarde. So I can say, oh, I need to arrive early. Yeah, I need to arrive early at work or at the office, ok? So, es como una necesidad. And I have to, es porque yo debo de hacerlo. I have to clock in, so yo debo de marcar at 8. At 8 a.m. or before, ok? Porque si no por ley me descuentan. So, if you pay attention, hay como una pequeña diferencia entre las dos. Now, veamos ahora la parte negativa también. I need to. ¿Cuál sería para expresar algo que yo no necesito hacer? I don't need to. Ok. So, for example, in my place, no necesito hacer la limpieza porque hay alguien designado para encargarse del orden y la limpieza. So, I don't need to clean, ok, my office. I don't need to clean my room. Ya. Yeah? So, no es I necesario. I clean office teacher. Oh, in your case, tiene que limpiarla. Okay. So I have to clean the office. Exactly. So si es una obligación, well, you have to do it. O porque si usted se siente cómodo, I need to do it. Okay, I need to clean the office. Now, acá es bien interesante porque la forma negativa de I have to es bien diferente. I want you to pay attention here. I don't have to. Cuando les digan, oh, you don't have to do it, no les dicen, no lo haga, ok. Les están diciendo, no es necesario que usted lo haga. So, I want you to pay close attention here porque puede ser un poco confuso. So, I have to es, yo debo, yo tengo la obligación. Pero I don't have to, es que no es necesario, ok. So, esa es la palabra. I don't have to means, it is not necessary. 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 Mm. Ok. For example, cuando le diga a su jefe, oh, you don't have to come on Saturday. You don't have to come on Saturday. So, ¿qué le está diciendo? ¿Qué debemos de interpretar? What do you understand? No es necesario trabajar los sábados. Exacto, que no es necesario. So, you don't have to come on Saturday. No le dice, no lo hagas, right? Le está diciendo, Pero, no es necesario. Es, es como opcional. Exactly. So, it's just telling you, no es necesario. No es obligatorio. All right. Okay. So, let's work a little bit on it. Eh, ok. Hablemos un poquito de nuestras obligations. So, guys, what do you have to do at work? What do you have to do at work? ¿Qué deben de hacer? Ok. And what are some activities that you need to do? What are some activities you feel you need to do? You need to do, okay? So I will give you a couple of minutes para que tomen un par de notitas. You know, you can use your notebooks. Eh, pueden practicar mientras tanto la parte de gramática, la parte eh, de escritura. Y si tienen preguntas, I'm here para que les podamos clarificar, ¿ok? So, cinco minutitos. Start working on it. What do you have to do at work? ¿Cuáles son las obligaciones? And what are some activities you feel you need to do? Algunas actividades que usted siente la necesidad de hacer, ¿ok? Let me know, please, si tienen alguna duda, like any question. Eh, no, no encuentre cómo expresar algo. So, I'm here for you guys. So, let me know.
Teacher, how do you say taller? Eh, un taller como de el lugar para reparar carros o un taller como que le dan un tema y usted asiste. Eh, para reparar carros. Mm, es un garage. garage. Mm -hmm. Es un garage. Thanks. You are welcome. Tres minutitos, chicos. You got three minutes. Teacher, uh, is uh, I have to write weekly report or I have to make weekly report? Um, I have to write, I have to make a report. I have to write a report. Ambos pueden. I have to make a weekly report or I have to write um, a weekly report. Or I have to present a, a weekly report. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. ambas, las tres de hecho están bien. And they can be used. Yeah. Okay. Y, um, I have to, uh, for example, I have to present weekly report. Mm -hmm. uh, or I need to present weekly report. Es una obligación que su contrato la dice, como la empresa la obliga a hacerlo, o usted siente la necesidad también de, de presentarlos. No, es una obligación. Entonces sería I have to. I have to. Todas las que son como de ley o las que en su contrato estipula que es lo que va a hacer, serían have to, porque es una obligación que no nos la podemos quitar. Uh -huh. No, ok. Have to. Thank you. You are welcome. So how do you say sala de ventas? Uh, I'm sorry, how do you say? Sala de ventas. Sala de ventas, like, okay. No sé si es un showroom. Mm. That could be a showroom. For yes. cars, se le llama un showroom. Let me look, let me check si hay otra forma. Uh, yes, miss, it's called a showroom. So you can have appliances, cars, furniture, como sala de muestra se le llama. But yeah, this is the one, a showroom. Thank you, chair. Yes, miss. Si es como pasar consulta. Pasar consulta. 
like go to the doctor? Yes. You can say just visit the doctor. Visit the doctor. No sé si es hacer la cita o or directamente visit the doctor. Mm, this is the uh, yeah, so you can say, like, for example, I have to, or I need to, I have to visit the doctor, the doctor, oh. and I am sick. So, sería una forma de expresarlo. I have to visit the doctor when I'm sick. Oh, okay. Or, necesito ir a la enfermería. I need to go to the nursery, for example. So, I mean, cualquiera de ellas estaría bien. Any of them is okay. Okay. Thirty seconds. Teacher. Uh, yes, Danis. I had I had to the actualize. Oh, copy eyes. Mm, you have to update. Update. Yes, yes. yes. You have to update. Yes. The update. KPI. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, guys, do you need more time? Necesitan más tiempo? Do you need more time? Or is everybody almost ready? Ready, teacher. You're ready. Alguien necesita ready, like teacher. one minute, two minutes? Time. Okay. Okay, so I hear some of you are ready. So that's really, really nice. Allow me just one second. So guys, vamos a ir. We are going there. Y vamos a eh, contarle a los compañeros what are some obligations that we have. Give me just one second. Okay, okay, everybody, so let's go, let's go there, please. Tenemos 10 minutos, we have only 10 minutes. Vamos a contarle y luego preparamos algo cortito donde hablemos de nuestras obligaciones. So everybody, let's go. Hey boys, what up, what up? Eh, ¿Lograron agarrar la invitación? ¿Les aparece la invitación a los breakout rooms? Sí, 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 yo ahorita vengo. Ah, bye, nice, thank you. Dani, Brian, ¿me confirman, por favor? No siempre tengo que estar en la oficina. 
uh, I need to take a photos, photos for the insurance report. Como tomar fotos para el reporte de la aseguradora. Y I need to wear the uniform always. Que tengo que andar siempre en el uniforme. Okay. En lo que sea sábado, siempre andamos uniformados. Ok. Um, what, 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 Lamar, what are some activities you feel you need to do? Uh, what are some activities you feel you need to do? Yo. Yes. Ok. ¿Qué, ¿Cuál es mi primera actividad? Where some, where some, um, son como, digamos, las actividades principales, quizás. Ah, my uh, principal. Guys, sorry, sorry Ay. to interrupt. No, lo que sucede es que en las actividades anteriores hablábamos más como del have to, las actividades que son obligación a hacerlas. So when we say I have to. Y la segunda pregunta Ajá. es, what are some activities you need to do? So, no necesariamente que su patrón no lo obligue, right? Pero que usted dice, uh -huh. ah, no, pues chica, voy a hacer eso, right? Entonces, esa es como la, la, la breve diferencia. Uh -huh. So, la primera son obligations. I have to, porque mi jefe me dice que lo haga, right? Uh -huh. For example, I have to uh, have my camera on all the time. So, no es que yo les quiera mostrar mi rostro, <risa> sino que es una obligación tenerla encendida. Entonces, esa es como la, la pequeña diferencia entre el have to y el need to. Have to uh, es obligatorio, me obligan a hacerlo. Need to es yo siento la necesidad de. Ajá, soy yo lo uh, necesito. Ah, uh, pues, uh -huh. en vez de decir, I need to finish my report for me, tendría que ser, I, I have, have to finish, I have, I have. To finish my report for day ever. Y es no algo que el jefe, exacto. Entonces, si es algo que su jefe le dice, hey, you gotta do it, tienes que hacerlo. Entonces, sí, I have to do it. So, es diferente yeah. cuando usted dice, uy, no lo he hecho. Entonces, sí sería, oh, I need to do it right now. Necesito hacerlo ahorita. Ya, yeah, pero por lo general, para expresar obligación sería, I have to. Como lo del uniforme, right? Ah, eso sí, es porque eso sí, tal vez no. No, la del uniforme tal vez no siempre, eso lo tiene que ser formal. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces sí, I need to. So you feel, sí, usted siente need... que, ajá. So I need to wear my ah, uniform. No. Ok, ok, that, that makes sense. Okay. Las, la, las otras sí es, I have to finish my report for day ever. Like every uh, day? It is not necessary every day. Ah, ok. Pero no podemos ir. Sin terminar. Sin terminar los reportes. Ah, ok, ok. So, ese es I have to. Uh -huh. Ese es de ahí. El, it is not necessary to always be in, be in the office. It, it is no not necessary. Que estar aquí. No. Ah, ok, ok. So, you don't need to be at the office. No. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You don't need to. Ok. You don't have to be at the office. Y uh, la otra es, I have to take photos for the issuance report. I guess that is an obligation, right? Sí. Ever, okay. ever. Exactly. So I have to take pictures. So no es que usted quiera hacerlo de comorógrafo, right? No. <laughs> But no, you I, have to take pictures. Okay, I can, gotcha. I can have yes. It. Exactly. Esa es la diferencia entre I have to and it. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Ahora Norberto o Jesús. Uh, for me is I need to remain in the church always. Oh, I'm sorry, no sé si soy yo, pero lo escucho bien lejos. Creo que Guys. Los audífonos. Ahora sí, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, ahora sí. Los audífonos son. Much better. Ah, sería... pero ya se le oye mejor. I need to remain. I need to remain always in the church, in the place. Do you work in the church? Yeah. Where do you work? Supervisor. 
mantenimiento. Mantenimiento. ¿Cómo se dice? Maintenance. Maintenance. Ajá. ¿En cuál iglesia? ¿En qué church? Es la, se llama el Dios de Israel. Está frente a Cactiusa en la 5 de noviembre. Ya, ya, ya. Sí, va a I'm like, I have no idea. Ah, hay una iglesia y un colegio. No es, no es amigos de Israel, right? No, sería Dios de Israel. La capilla también se llama. Ah, ok. So you have to stay inside the church. Ya. Yeah. ¿Cómo, cómo? Perdón, ¿cómo? You have to stay. So stay. You, you, Necesito yeah. permanecer. Ajá. Yeah, you have to stay. You I have to stay always in the church. Inside. The in church. my turn. Okay. During my shift. Okay. Yeah. Okay. During my shift. Shift is my, is my, my turn. turn. Yes, shift ah, is okay. el, el turno de trabajo. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Otra cosa sería... I need... I need to drive the car and motorcycle. No es como... Sí, es. I need to sleep. Hola, Miss. Hello, hello. Aquí estoy esperando, teacher. ¿Puedo hablar con Sandra? No. Huh? No, kidding. Sandra, y Hello, teacher. Hola, Miss. Hello. Welcome back. Hello, hello. So, Miss, ¿han podido practicar? Have you been able to practice? No, teacher. Not yet. No yet. Okay. So, Sandra, ¿no se escucha? Sí, sí, la escucho. Okay. ¿Por, por qué so, me abandonaste, Sandra? No, no me abandoné a Brenda. So. <laughs> no, okay, girl. Ella no me dijo nada y yo igual no le, no le dije nada y entonces así. Sí, aquí estaba no esperando. Nada. Hable so talk to each other. Ah, ah, le porque yo no sé qué hacer. Le espero a enviar a Jesus también para que puedan practicar con Jesus. Gracias por, por venir lo, y unirse al grupo. Ya lo vi. Ya, so, para que puedan hablar un poquito de, de sus obligaciones at work. Solamente es con I have to, right? Y qué es lo que tienen que hacer. Solo los veo un minutito. Ok, Sandra. Hola. Hola, es que yo no te vi ni, ni el micrófono ni la cámara, entonces yo dije, no está quizás. Pero bueno, este, lo que dijo la teacher, vamos a hablar un poquito de las... Que, no, que consideremos que no son necesarias. Ajá, que no son necesarias, solo le agregué, eh, digamos... Vamos a decir, I don't have to, to prepare the breakfast at, at my, in my office. No es necesario que yo salga así. Uh, o sea que, así como dijo, que I don't need to clean. O I don't have. I don't have, ajá. Uh -huh. I don't have, uh, no tengo, por ejemplo, no tengo que cocinar. O no tengo que hacer limpieza en, en mi oficina. I don't have to clean in my office. Ah, ok. O si te dicen que, que no es necesario que hagas un reporte. I don't have. Así sería. Uh -huh. How to make a report the assistant, the de, de algo ahí, no sé qué.
Jet, todavía no, no Jet. Bien, bien, bien. I, I need, need, siento la necesidad, I need a Mary now. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, yes. Y, y por obligación, I, I have, no, no, ¿cómo sería? I have. Por obligación. Como por obligación tengo que tener uno, unos seis niños. Necesito. I have, I have to... six children. Six children. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have six children. Medio equipo de fútbol quiero tener para, para llevarlo. Have... A... She has six children. She, so you, you have uh -huh. six children. Your wife. wife your yeah. wife. Or, or you need to have six children. Uh, so, ¿tiene o sea, o necesita tener? No, ne necesito, no, no los tengo. <laughs> no estuviera aquí. Por eso no está hablando así, teacher. Ah. Porque no tiene ni uno, no sabe ah, ah, ah. ni Pero, tenga uno. Ojalá no le salga. No, como, como, no, como estamos hablando de las necesidades, ¿va? o sea, uno siente la necesidad de tener ese montón de niños que no se puede ir a otra cosa. Oh my God, you need six. No. Pero primero, I need a girlfriend. Ah, ok. Por eso le puse. So, uh, Jocelyn, do you need more kids? No. <laughs> you don't need more kids. You don't, you don't need more children. How many? How many do you have? Only one. You have only one. Okay. And that's enough. Es suficiente. No, yeah, that's enough. Okay. Uh, Anna Delmi, what about you? Do you have babies? I have two children. Oh, you have one, one boy two. and one girl. Nice. Do you need more? No, teacher. <laughs> no more, no more. Please, have please. Six? What about six? Would you like to have six? Les gustaría tener seis. Would you like to have six? No, oh, teacher. <laughs> and you, teacher, and you, Never, teacher. how many, how many children? No. Come on. No, and no. I, don't, I don't need. <laughs> so that's different. Okay. <laughs> so eso se le para Dani, déjenle los seis. So, <laughs> that's que experimente I'm, la adrenalina. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So imagínense con seis. Ay, no. No, 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 esto es imposible. No, pero si tuviéramos así montones así de dinero y tuviéramos bien, si ¿sí pudiera ser una vida bien chida, tener bastantes niños. Yeah, no. In this time, in this time, um, no. It is not a good idea. Yes. It's difficult. No, no va. Eso es lo que pasa que yo pienso eso quizás como no soy yo que el que voy a hacer. Cabal, no es verdad, sino que es demasiado caro. It is too expensive. So it is ah, too va, is... Por, por eso digo yo, si, si tuviéramos el dinero necesario, pudiéramos. It's tired. Ajá, uh -huh, it's tiring, de but also it's difficult, for example, to pay for hospitals for it. Medicine study. to study exactly, study. it's very expensive. Study. So, I don't think it's a good idea, but but you know, so maybe then it will make it in the future. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. guys, Entonces, all... I, said, yeah, I don't need necess I don't need mm -hmm. uh, you don't need six. No, it's necessary. Six Come. children. Come. 
I mean, you don't need, no las necesita. You don't need seeds. Ajá, eso, eso quiere decir, Ajá. no es necesario. So you don't need seeds. You don't have to get Ajá. six babies to be seeds. happy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, get ready to present. Recomendation, recomendación, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Recommend. Ajá. Recommend. Recommend um, two, two babies. You recommend two babies. Ah. Okay. Yeah, yes. one I guess is okay, yes. two is okay, but but I don't know. I don't have. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I give you one minute. Jocelyn, <laughs> uno más, uno más por favor, Jocelyn. Next baby, oh. Jocelyn. <laughs> Hey everybody, thank you for coming back. So it was really nice listening to you talking about the obligations you have at work. So we do have today um, a lot of time para que podamos escuchar a los compañeros. Yesterday me quedaron un par, you know, pendientes de participar. So I would like to listen to as many as I can Eh, para también identificar como alguna dificultad or anything that we are having. So, quiero escuchar también el progreso que estamos teniendo. And I'm going to get started with number one. So, las salas primeras, eh, like room number one, is Ana, Delby, Dani, and Jocelyn. Guys, you are my first victims of the night. So uh, help us a little bit, okay, con lo que tienen, whatever you got, so we can listen to you guys. Okay. Uh, Ana, tell me, what do you have to do at work? Uh, I, I have to get up early every day because I have a work. I have a great report when I need report. I, I have attendant clients. Um, I have and, work um, at 8 a.m. at 12 p.m. Well, Yeah. Uh, what are some activities to feel you need to do? I need eat because I'm hungry. I need visit the doctor because I am sick. 
I need to go to the supermarket when I I don't milk. I don't have milk. And Danny, what about you? I need a read a uh, uh, word a am. I need a uh, sleep uh, 11 p.m. Uh, ask me, please. Uh, Jocelyn, what do you have to do at work? I have to open in the work some, some days. And I have to own the, every printer. And uh, finally, I have to check if your money in the cashier. And what are some activities you feel you need to, to do? I feel need to organize the showroom. And I feel need to wash my hands after the contact with our clients. And I feel need to take a break. Only that. Very thing. good. Very good. Excellent, guys. That very was good. very nice. That was very fluid, uh, fluid, you know, uh, very good use of vocabulary, very good intonation. So I'm really impressed. Very good job. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Let me go with yes, the next one that is number three. Brian, just a question. En cual grupo estuvo? Because I see you twice. Eh, creo que está con dos eh, devices. Eh, estaba conectado desde la PC, pero hoy tengo muchos problemas. Estuve con Moisés y Dani. Moisés y, y Giovanni, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, perdón. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, yeah, so, yeah, I got you. Yeah, lo que sucede es que lo tengo dos veces, so I didn't know. Ok, no hay ningún problema, no worries. So, eh, guys, ¿están listos? So, if you are ready, we can go ahead and listen to you. Ok. Hello, Giovanni. Hello. What do you have, okay. do you have to do the work? Eh, I have to get up early. I have to disinfect customers. I have to prepare the info. I have to clean my office. And I have to finish the taxes. And I have to call some clients. Okay, uh, what are some activities you feel you need to do? Uh, I need some activities. For example, I need to clean the refrigerator and I need to clean the bathroom. Uh, I need to check the emails in, in the morning and I, I need to visit my clients on Saturday and only. And, and you Moses, okay. what do you have okay. to do as well? Uh, I have to believe that the staff get to work and validate that people work uh, well. Only my Yes, uh, and my activities are uh, I need make reports, I need send pictures, I need check sale rooms only. 
Okay, excellent. And you, Brian, what do you have to do at work? And what are what are some activities you feel you, you need to do? Okay, on um, my activities, I need I need chat reports. I need uh, check the picture. I need visit the police station. Uh, I need visit clients. I need have meetings. Um, I don't know. After also, I had to write uh, email for different homes. and I write reports. That's it. Okay, and what do you have to do at work? I had uh, sanitize my hands in my office. I um, uh, checked my emails every day. I check reports um, for my boss every day. Um, um, that's it. Okay. Finished teacher. Yes. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for sharing that. Okay. I think it's very interesting because everybody has a different job and you have different obligations. Guys, so hablamos de mañana, like for tomorrow. What are some of the things you have to do or you need to do tomorrow? Tomorrow is Thursday. So, ¿qué deben de ser? What is something you have to do tomorrow? Miss, I have review. I have get up I early. Oh, oh, everybody. So, uh, Claribel, you have to wake up early tomorrow. Yes. What time? Mm, it's five. It's five uh, thirty. Five thirty tomorrow. Yes. Why? Mm, because I knew um, I knew how my mom. Um, okay. He, I watch my clothes. Oh, in the yes. morning, early morning. Yes. Wow. Okay, I do it at night, but not in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Marvin, what is? Thank you for sharing, Claribel. So, Marvin, okay. what is? What do you have to do tomorrow? I come by work. Every day, okay. es, solo es. Oh. Es. <laughs> but what about your obligations? I mean, okay, I, I want to understand something. So you have to go to work, okay? You have to stay at the office. But si no hay necesidad, no hace como mucho. Let's call it that way. O como funciona. Aquí, pero eso lo voy a hacer en español. Uh -huh. Es que... No, in English. <laughs> so, what are your obligations at work? No, es que no me sale toda, so, toda la frase. Moses, sí. Moses le puede, digo, eh, René le puede ayudar. René, ah, que cabal, René, ¿qué diga? Patita de ser. O Brian. Brian. <laughs> my work, the obligation is to assist a customer when they cry or, okay. or make a, take an accident car. And I, okay. I have to take a picture, and I have to okay. to to go the picture the the part of car damage. Okay. And I have to take a good report, and okay. I have to send me a different insurance company. All right, okay. but if there are no if there are no crashes. If no one crash, for example, I tomorrow. Office. Exactly, that was my question. So if nobody calls, hey, I crashed. It's according to office. schedule. It's according to schedule for order. Oh, it's according uh, to for schedule. For example, for example, uh, six a.m. One accident is the the customer service uh, talk uh, Marvin. Uh, okay. Uh, and after accident. Uh, uh, has a uh, Rene, um, I think. So everybody has a schedule. 
Ah, ok, es, ok. Es, es catcher. Sin embargo, si no hay accidentes, están así, sin, sin hacer nada. Exactly, así, that, that was my esperan, question. Esperan. <risa> no, o sea, es que no quería sin que hacer nada peor, laboral, pero, pero están, 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 están haciendo una función, pero no están... Uh, no están como ningún... elaborando. <risa> So you are waiting. So permanecen esperando por, por las llamadas, right? So you are eh, waiting sí, for the no. call. Okay. So, and if there are no example, crashes, it's for example, my chilling. Case, for example, in my case, uh, I hay días que no he visto ningún accidente. Uh -huh. Someday I I didn't I didn't assist in a person. Okay, so well, what do you not... do? Okay, well, when there are no accidents, so what is your obligation? What do you do? Nothing? Nothing, I stay. Nothing. Gracias a Dios, no hace nada. Pero okay. mire, se ve bonito, pero mira dónde estoy yo y qué hora son. No, because, yeah, <laughs> es que lo que sucede es que a Marvin sí lo veo como, a veces sale de noche de trabajar, right? Sometimes he works pretty late. So that was my question. So si terminan es como Rene ya me fui. No. What? Excuse me? No, no. Oh, okay. So, but, but yeah, that, that was my question. O sea, que si no hay calls, pretty much es un chilling. So you just chill. Super relajado. That sounds good. I like it. That sounds pretty good. Guys, Así what about the rest of you? Marvin, chill. So he's chilling right now. What about your obligations? Eh, Sandra, Sandra está por acá? Because I believe Sandra has a lot of obligations. No, she's not there. Miss Rodas? No, she's not there. Yeriksa, what do you do, Yeriksa? What are your obligations? I think I have never heard Yeriksa. Okay, it's boy. <laughs> What do you do, Miss? Okay, Asa, what do you do? Um, es lo que yo, okay. I have, uh -huh. I have to account money at the, at the end of the day. I have. Are you a cashier? Huh? Are you a cashier or an accountant? Um, eh, es que um, hago muchas cosas en mi trabajo. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's okay. So you do the math, okay. You work with money. ¿Qué más hace? What do you do? Um, I have to to write reports. Um, I have to write horas extras de los demás empleados. Yo tengo unos empleados a mi cargo. Le estaba contando a Dani que, que en la alcaldía tenemos un proyecto de agua, entonces y yo envío los recibos de agua de toda la gente y los bomberos, todos esos están a mi cargo, entonces ellos me, les tengo que hacer las notas de las horas extras para que se las puedan pagar. ¿Como algo municipal? Yes. ¿Como los programas de agua comunales? Like, sí. Los que están a cargo de las alcaldías and everything. Sí. Ah, ok. Sounds interesting. So, es como la contadora, digamos, como la de... La de... Sí. La, de, la gerente de recursos humanos, en other words, quien hace las planillas and everything. Es que ahí por jefaturas trabajamos. Ok. But, uh -huh. Ok, pero hace como la función de, un, de uno de recursos humanos, I would say. ¿Sí? Es el contador y recursos humanos. Ok. Ok, that sounds very interesting. Y bien ocupado también. So, because it's money. That sounds very busy. Ok. Elizabeth, what about you? We will finish with you. Last time, si no me recuerdo mal, you mentioned que es operaria de maquinaria, but I don't, I don't know if I remember right. Sí. Okay. Okay. So, so tell us, tell us about your obligations. ¿Qué es lo que hace? What do you do? Ah, uh, pues, en español o en inglés. Si ¿Sí puede en inglés, perfecto. Acá le ayudamos. No se preocupe. Uh -huh. So I have to. Es lo, 
Lo que estuvimos haciendo en grupo. Sí, lo mismo, Miss. The same thing. Vaya. Pues. Necesito terminar mi reporte de producción. Ok. Necesito llegar temprano a limpiar mi área de trabajo. Ok. Tengo que sacar una buena calidad en producción. Si es posible, el 100%. Ok, but you're talking about machines. Like, las, mm -hmm. las máquinas deben de completar eso. Mm, o el no área sé. de producción. The production ah, area. Es individual. Ok. Okay. Es individual. Eh, nosotros producimos lo que son suéteres. Ah, ok. Va por etapas. Primero este, se arma gorro. Luego se une hombro. Se pega la manga. Okay. Se cierra lateral. Luego se pega el gorro. A formar la pieza. Okay. Yo hago el ruedo del suéter. El suéter lleva unas bolsas internas, las cuales nosotros tenemos que tener el cuidado de no que no queden dobladas a la hora que hacemos el ruedo, que no nos vaya a quedar puntada suelta. Okay. Entonces, en inglés yo puse que necesito terminar mi reporte de producción. Okay, I, so I need to. Uh -huh. Um, I need to finish. Uh, I am to finish uh -huh. my products. My production Rep report. My report. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Necesito llegar temprano a limpiar mi área de trabajo. Okay. Le puse I need. Uh -huh. I, I need. need. To. So puede ser como uh, I need. I need, I need to. to. Mm -hmm. I need to yes. hardly bed. Mm -hmm. Hardly. Early. So you need to arrive early. early. Yes. Early to clean okay. my work area. Okay, exactly. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much is production, right? You work in manufacturing. That's why it's a little difficult. Okay, uh, but thank you. Thank you, Sandra, for sharing that. That is pretty nice. And also, uh, be interesante, you know, conocer también lo que los demás hacen, right? So, okay. me quedo pendiente, por ejemplo, escuchar qué hace Jesus, porque siempre lo veo, you know, in the motorcycle, in the car, etc. So, I don't really know. Y Dalia, la vez anterior, nos dio un, un vistazo de lo que hacía, you know, <laughs> with the animals. So I think we got an idea of what everybody does. So guys, uh, thank you so much for being here. Nos veremos el día de mañana. So please, solamente no se les voy a olvidar ayudarme con la tarea, all right? Para que ya no les quede mucha tarea para el día viernes. Uh, guys, el día de ahora, today is miércoles, so we have it with Danny. Danny, si me regala 10 minutitos, okay, in the... Bueno, ahorita que terminamos la clase, please. So, the rest of you guys, sleep well, que duerman super bien. I'll see you tomorrow. And have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, see you guys. Night. night. Teacher, teacher, ¿es Dani o Dani o yo? No, usted, de hecho. <laughs> so, it's you. Permítame. Deme un segundo, ya le confirmo. Miércoles. Anthony, sí, es usted. It's you. So, deme solo un segundo para que los voy a poner a los compañeros en otro lado. Yeah, ahí está para que sea un guano. So, gracias, Dani. Thank you so much for joining. Me alegra muchísimo ya tenerlo de regreso, que ya está mejor, que ya está participando. Ya nos hacía falta también escucharlo, you know. Usted le dice vibra. Ben, teacher. Nice. ¿Cómo está? Ben, ben. Ya un poco mejor. Sí, sí, ya sí. Si sí se fijó en la semana anterior, bien. Estaba un poco raro. Y sí, el lunes fue que ya no pude. Apagado en la clase. 
Ya, pero es que sí, como, ya. ¿por, ¿Y por qué está así? No, no participa. Ah, algo está mal. Pero, uh -huh. ah, sí, Imagínate pero ya mismo, ahorita... ¿verdad? El dolor. Sí, era, todo. Ajá, era algo incómodo. Pues. Uh -huh. Yo quería estar allí, va, pero no nos podía. Pero ahorita ya, ya calidad. Vaya, me alegra, este... me alegra que uh -huh. esté mucho mejor. Eh, no sé si ya revisó los temas que hemos estado viendo. Sí, sí he, hecho, he hecho las tareas, he hecho las tareas, pero sí este, tengo que repasar un poquito lo de how many, how much, porque ahora cuando lo mencionaron como que me quedé así, como que, que no, 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 no lo entendía bien, ¿no? Como Bye, que no sí. he hecho muchas oraciones con eso. Gallo, si quieres, eso me faltó la práctica. Exacto. Revisemos ese tema si gusta, porque sí, de hecho lo vimos eh, la semana anterior, entonces creo que cabal fueron los días que usted ha andado así como un poquito para ahí. Esta semana eh, solamente vimos how often. So, pero Haufen ya ah, habíamos eh. hecho un pequeño y una introducción la vez anterior. Entonces no sí, creo sí. que sea como eh, que le tome tanto, ¿verdad? Solamente de ponerle atención sí, a, sí. a la orden, el orden de las palabras. Sí, Entonces, sí, sí, más que todo es, digamos, hacer más oraciones, va. Es, es así como los temas que siempre hacemos bastantes oraciones. Exactamente. Y, y lo practicamos. De, exacto, repetir, repetir y repetir para que lo encuentre más repetir. fácil. Ok, eh, la parte de how many and how much es un tema bien interesante porque ambos significan cuánto, ambos, ok. ¿Cuánto? Si usted pregunta uh -huh. how many, me está preguntando de cuánto, how much también ¿Cuánto? me pregunta de cuánto, pero la diferencia está en qué palabra los va a acompañar, ok. Uh, vamos a utilizar acá eh, la palabra have, de cuántos tiene, ok, para que usted vea la diferencia de cómo utilizarlo. So how many do you have? And how much do you have? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Bastante fácil. Con el many, usted siempre va a usar una palabra en plural. Ok. So, eh, dígame una palabra, cualquier cosa, un objeto. Mm, pencil. Vale, tengo la palabra pencil. Entonces, como es how many, cuántos, ok. Siempre yo voy a agregarle la S de plural. How many pencils do you uh -huh. have? Y eso es todo. Tengo, por ejemplo, la palabra TV, ¿ok? ¿Cuántos televisores tienes? How many TVs do you have? Y eso es todo. Uh -huh. ¿Cuántos hermanos? How many brothers? How many brothers? Con este, do you have? How many sisters do you have? Entonces, el how many es para palabras ya que yo puedo utilizar en forma de plural, ¿ok? So, por lo general, uh -huh. cuando usted escuche how many es porque yo quiero un número. So, si le pregunto, hey, Danny, how many brothers do you have? Um, Dígame un número. Tengo um, ten, ten. Ten brothers. Pero no, no los conozco. Es que no, así dicen, pero no los conozco. Ah, pero okay. los que conozco son como, como five, five okay. brothers. Ya, yeah, so les, le, les, le pasa a las mías. Eh, tengo como por parte de, Pero solo por parte de papá. Ah, oh, ok. So son ¿Y varios. usted? También. I have like 20. Oh. Yeah. So it's a lot. Tengo bastantes también. Imagine que cambiamos un poquito la palabra y ya no son hermanos, sino how many pairs of shoes. So cuántos pares de zapatos. How many pairs of shoes do you have? So again, mm -hmm. le quiero preguntar de un número. Dígame un número. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Mm -hmm. Two pairs. Okay. Two, so two pairs of shoes. Okay. Um, for example, quiero saber de uniformes. How many uniforms do you have? Um, five uniforms. Okay, so five uniforms. So, si se fija, me, me da un número. Okay, so this un is the number. idea. Ahora, ¿qué pasa con how much? How much también es cuánto. La diferencia es que yo no lo uso con palabras que se le puedan agregar plural. No se puede. Entonces, yo voy a usar el how much para cantidades. Okay. Para cosas que no se pueden contabilizar. Por ejemplo, el agua, eh, las bebidas, el café, la soda, la palabra dinero, la información, la arena. Cosas que usted no las puede contabilizar una por una, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, eh, water. How much? Y aparte no le agrego ni siquiera ese, no se puede. How much water do you have? 
So, ¿cuánta agua tiene ahorita okay. en el vaso? How much water do you have over there? Okay. ¿Cuánto dinero tiene en el banco? How much, uy, no uh es -huh. much. How much money do you have? Okay. ¿Cuánto dinero uh -huh. tiene? How much money do you have? So, uh -huh. how much, ¿cuánta azúcar le pone su café? How much sugar do you put in your coffee? How much sugar do you have? Entonces, si vamos viendo, la diferencia es que con el many, la palabra debe de llevar S, ¿ok? So, cancel soda, por ejemplo, lleva una S acá. Y en cambio acá, uh -huh. how much, solamente how much soda. How much soda do you have? How much soda do you drink? How much soda do you take? Entonces, esa es la diferencia aquí. How many cans, esa es plural, como las latas de soda, porque las latas sí las puedo contar, y la soda que no la puedo contar. How much soda do you have? No sé si está un poquito mejor. Sí, sí. A little bit better. So, en, en, la, en la primera, how many cans? ¿Cuánta, cuánto, ¿Cuántas cuánta latas? soda puedes tener? Uh, ¿Cuántas latas de pero, soda? Y en la otra. La palabra la. Pero las latas. La lata solo... de soda es esto: cans. Una can, can. es una lata de soda. A can of soda. Ah, Yo le puedo, por ejemplo, can. cambiar a una lata de, no sé, ¿qué más viene en lata? La sardina. Uh -huh, ok. No. So, yeah, yeah, of course. So, what, how many cans of sardine do you have? Uh -huh. También se puede, you can do it. O, por mm. ejemplo, las latas de... Hay unos como encurtidos que vienen, como los uh, pepinillos. Uh -huh. Entonces, how uh -huh. many cans of pickles do you have? So, la idea es que can es eso que viene en la lata. Lata. Uh -huh. lata. En cambio, acá mm. es ya el líquido en sí. No la yeah. lata, sino uh -huh. el líquido. Entonces, esa es yeah. la diferencia más grande. Ya, yeah. intente... Eh, déjenme ver si puedo compartirle un par de ejercicios adicionales ahora. Ok. And uh, cualquier cosa, si tiene más dudas con este tema, escríbame. Yo con gusto le mando más ejercicios. Oiga. Bueno, está bien. Nice. Gracias. So, gracias a usted, Dani, por, por regalarme un par de minutitos. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bueno. Good night, teacher. See you later.